Meet our friend Benny Beaver, who has a big task ahead. Benny is a busy beaver who loves to build and create. He's always tinkering, always constructing, always dreaming up new ideas. But today, Benny faces his biggest challenge yet. He needs to build the strongest and most stable structure he's ever made. What is a structure, you ask? Well, think of it as a supporting framework. It's something that holds a load and has a definite size, shape, and function. A tree is a structure, and so is a house, a bridge, or even a beaver dam like the ones Benny loves to build. A structure isn't just about being big or flashy. It's about being strong enough to carry a load, stable enough to withstand forces, and functional enough to serve a purpose. So the big question is, how will Benny Beaver build the strongest and most stable structure? Let's find out. Just like Benny, we see structures everywhere around us. Think about a towering tree, reaching its branches up towards the sky. This is a structure. It's strong enough to withstand gusty winds, and stable enough to stay upright, even when squirrels scurry up and down its trunk. Now, imagine an anthill, a tiny but intricate structure, built by ants grain by grain. It's designed to shelter the ants, protect their food, and even control their environment. Now, let's journey from nature to the city. Imagine a bridge, arching gracefully over a river. It's a man-made structure, built to carry cars, bikes, and pedestrians safely from one side to the other. Or think about a skyscraper, stretching high into the clouds. It's a structure that provides space for offices, homes, and shops, all stacked vertically. These structures, both natural and man-made, have a lot to teach us about strength, stability, and purpose. Benny Beaver can learn a lot from these structures, don't you think? Benny needs to remember that the shape of his structure will depend on what it's for. Just like how a bird's nest is round and cozy to keep the eggs safe and warm, or how a beaver's dam is wide and sturdy to hold back water. This is the magic of form and function. Form is the shape of something, while function is what it does. These two are like two peas in a pod, always going hand in hand. Let's say Benny wants to build a structure to shelter his toy dinosaur from the rain. His structure might need a roof to keep the rain out, right? That's form meeting function. But if Benny wants to build a structure to hold his collection of marbles, he might need something with sides to stop the marbles from rolling away. Again, form meeting function. So Benny must decide what his structure will do before he starts building. Benny wants his structure to be strong and stable. But what does that mean? Well, let's break it down. When we say a structure is strong, we mean it can support a load. Imagine a backpack filled with books. If the backpack is strong, it can hold all those heavy books without tearing. Now, for stability. Stability is all about balance. Picture a tower of blocks. If it's stable, it can stay standing even if you give it a little push. A stable structure keeps its shape, maintains balance, and stays fixed in one place even when a force is applied to it. So how can Benny make his structure strong and stable? For strength, he can use more material or use a stronger material. Imagine using sticks instead of straws to build a house. The sticks are stronger, right? For stability, Benny can make sure the base of his structure is wider than the top. That's why pyramids in Egypt have lasted thousands of years. Benny can also use struts and ties. Struts are stiff supports that resist pressure, while ties resist tension. Together, they help structures carry loads without changing shape. Imagine a bridge. The struts and ties work together to keep the bridge from sagging under the weight of cars. Benny now knows how to make his structure strong and stable. Now he needs to think about the materials he will use. Benny has many materials to choose from, but which ones are the best for his structure? Imagine you're in a forest. You find wood, right? Wood is pretty cool. It's strong, but it's also light, which means it can be carried around easily. But remember, wood can also break if it gets too wet or too dry. Now, let's pretend we're in a city. We find steel, don't we? Steel is super strong, even stronger than wood. But it's also heavy. So, if you're planning to build something big and tall like a skyscraper, steel is your pal. But if you're making a small treehouse, steel might be too much. Other materials like plastic, paper, or glass can be used too. Each one has its own strengths and weaknesses. It's like choosing your favorite ice cream flavor. You pick the one that suits your taste, or in this case, your structure's needs. With the right materials, Benny is ready to start building. Watch Benny as he uses what he's learned to build his structure. See how carefully he selects his materials. He's not just choosing any old thing. No, Benny knows the importance of picking the right materials for the job. 
he's considering their properties, their strength, and how they will contribute to the stability of his structure. Next, Benny is thinking about the function of his structure. He knows that the form of his structure must align with its purpose. Is it meant to hold a heavy load or withstand strong winds? Benny is designing his structure with these factors in mind. Now, it's time to build. Benny isn't rushing. Each piece, each connection, has a role to play in the overall strength and stability of his structure. He's using struts and ties, those important components that bear loads and keep things connected. Benny's structure is gradually taking shape. Look at how it retains its form, how it balances, and how it remains fixed in place even when he applies force. That's the sign of a well-built structure. And there it is, Benny's strong and stable structure. He did a fantastic job, didn't he? He has shown us that with a little bit of knowledge about materials, form, function, strength, and stability, anyone can build a structure that is not only strong and stable, but also serves its purpose well.